Hello friends, uh, so here we go with the isometric projection, problem number 49. So we have a square prism, a base 40 and a height 70, as a full depth coaxial square wall of side 20 mm, such that the edges of both the squares are parallel. Okay, so here we have a solid, a solid of a, a square a prism. Okay, so we will construct first the square prism, then uh, we will go how exactly we can go with the goal. So the side is a 40 and height is 70. Okay, so to start with that one, so we will take one horizontal line. Okay, so on that one, we will take any one corner. Okay, so the base is a 40. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's a square base. So we have taken a square. So let's have a thin line here. Okay, so now the height they have given it's a 70. Okay, so from each corner, take a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a 7. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay. So now join the top one. Okay, so this is how exactly we'll get a square prism. Okay, so when this one is done, so now inside this we have a hole of a square 20. Okay, so now to locate the center of this one, so this is a 40, the top one, so 1 and 2. So this is the center. So here we need a 20 mm square. So 10 up, 10 down, 10 right, and 10 to the left. Okay, so this is a 20 square. okay the top is a 20 square so in depth in depth means it it goes to 70 okay so you can down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like this okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 7 so again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so now you will get a this simple square here okay so in depth wall but it is inside that we cannot uh, see okay so these edges will go inside the solid but here only from this corner we can see the edge of the hole okay so only from this corner to this corner so this is how exactly we can see the hole so remaining so this line is visible so this line is visible so this line is visible okay so this base is visible so this base is visible so now here the top one this is visible this one is visible so this top base will be visible that base okay so just uh, to make sure that uh, so we have a a square all of 20 so from the center move 10 10 each the top face is visible that is a square face now so when we see when we have a all inside that one so only this edge will be visible so remaining and all will be inside the solid okay so only the edge of the hole is visible okay so make this is 30 and this is a 30 okay the simple one 
uh, we have one similar problem that's a number 50 okay so here uh, in the 49 we had a square prism so here we are going to have a rectangular slab so rectangular slab 100 by 80 the thickness is 30 as a full depth coaxial wall of a square wall, uh, side is a 40 such that one of the side is a parallel to one of the side of the rectangle okay so here uh, we have a rectangular slab so just to have that one so we'll have one horizontal line okay so as usual so we'll take any one corner okay so now we'll take 80 first okay so the uh, rectangle is a 100 by 80 by 30 and the square hole is a 40 okay so we'll take 80 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 80 done so next we'll take 100 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay again 80 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 okay so again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so this is how exactly we can get a a simple rectangle okay so now the thickness is 30 so take 30 from each corner okay so now join the ends again you will get one rectangle Okay, so this is a, how exactly we can get a, a rectangular slab. Now, so look at the center. So this is 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, midpoint. And now this is 100. So we'll move 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So now this is the center. Okay, so half of this edge and take a 90 degree turn half of this edge. So 40 and 50. Now we need to have a 40 square. Okay, so 40 square means so 20 this side okay so 20 this side and from here 20 this side 20 this side okay again from here 20 this side and 20 this side okay so start from any one corner 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 okay so this is a how exactly you can get a, a square here So it is a full depth wall. So means uh, the thickness is a 30. So all means you have to come down. So 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3. Okay. So 1, 2, 3. And from here 1, 2, 3. Okay. So just join that square with the thin lines here. So here you will get. So now, so this is how exactly you can get a hole. But now you can't see these edges because those things are inside the uh, rectangular slab. But you can see this edge because this is a hole. So you can see this edge and you can see this line till here. Okay, because these things again will go into the solid. You can see the square face. And this edge and the line connecting from here to here now when it comes to this rectangle you can see this edge so this edge this edge and you can see the top rectangle
like this okay so this is how exactly you can see the a rectangular slab having a square hole at the center so this is very important okay where you can see the edge of a uh, hole and uh, this edge which can be connected what we did we have taken a center from there we moved a 20 20 we got this square then we moved down it's a hole so you have to move down okay so 30 30 30 from each corner then we are joined but you can see only these edges here okay so this number 50 where you can understand this one okay so thank you